We're at the headquarters of the National Rifle Association in the range, the gun range in the basement, and we're here with attorney George Lyon from Arsenal Attorneys and journalist Emily Miller. Emily, why are you here today? Well, I am one of the few people in Washington, D.C. who has a carry permit, right here. Um, I was the 15th person to get one, and I only have one because um, I had documented with the police that two, in two instances people had threatened to kill me in the past. So it wasn't based on the Second Amendment, it wasn't based on the Constitution, it was just based on that, on people actually wanting to kill me, not a really, something anybody really wants to have in their life. However, that was just two years ago, and suddenly I get a notice in the mail that it's, it's expired and I have to renew it. In order to renew it, I have to take four hours of classroom instruction, two hours of live fire instruction, and pay a $70 fee, and then the police chief gets to decide whether or not to renew if people still want to kill me or not. So then I went to my friend George Lyon and said, can you please be take off your legal hat and be my instructor hat right now and teach you a class in the classroom and now know we're here to do the two hour range because tomorrow's actually my deadline and I cut it really close. Nothing like waiting for the last minute. I know, right. So um, we're going to go out in the range in, in a second, shoot about 200 rounds. Uh, I'll give Emily a shooting test. And, and is the shooting test comes from DC, right? Tell them what I mean. What specifically they tell you is because what happened is DC requires me to go through this after two years, so they have to do another seven hours after doing seventeen hours before the first one, seven more hours. And they, but you can only take it from a DC instructor, certified instructor. So George, you had to pay to be an instructor, right? I had to pay four hundred dollars for every two years to be an oh, instructor. That's ridiculous. And uh, what we're going to do on the and test. They, they tell you what you have to what I what you have to do. Right? They they don't give you what the test is other than uh, you have to shoot 50 rounds uh, from 3 to 15 yards. I shoot 3 3 yards? 15? 3 yards to 15 <laughs> yards. 50 wow. rounds total. I don't know if I can pass this test. We will see. But it has to, here's the kicker. It has to be for 2 hours. So I'm going to be so sore tomorrow as because this one is a stickler for rule I guess it's the lawyer in him because the four hour in the classroom part, word on the street, people don't actually spend four full hours in the classroom because how much can you talk about for four hours? Five hours after I walked into his house last night, he's like, but you still have more to do. I was like, I'm going home. <laughs> So I, I said to him, I said, we're not, I'm not spending two hours nonstop shooting. I'm going to hurt my arm. And he's like, yes, you are. You'll enjoy it. It's a lawyer. So good and bad taking it from having your instructor be, also be a firearms lawyer as you will go letter of the law. Well, you, you both deserve credit. Emily, you fought the good fight being a gun owner in D.C. You've got your book right there that everyone should read to see what the struggle is just to exercise your Second Amendment rights. Emily gets her gun. George, you're a firearms instructor, uh, but also an attorney with Arsenal Attorneys, and I know you help a lot of people, both residents and non-residents, get D.C. permits. I recently helped someone get a permit after he was initially turned down. We went back, and uh, we ended up filing about an 80-page application. Oh, my gosh. And that made it through on about the 115th day. Well, let's and, hope... And in all, the... to, all in all, just so people understand, it is really... There are 600,000 residents of D.C., but also anyone in America can qualify for a D.C. carry permit. It's not just D.C. residents. And so far, I think it's about, how many people, 85? No, about 110. Okay. <laughs> so sorry. Of the whole country of 350 million people, 110 have qualified for D.C. carry permits. So if you want to give that a whirl and you're a tourist, you're coming to D.C. for work, or just, he's your man to call to try to get it. I'm the person people try to kill who gets it for that reason. We'll see if chief, the new chief, um, who hates my guts, approves this because this is also a, unlike any other Second Amendment or any other constitutional right that's taken away, this one gets to be taken away by the, the subjective judgment of the police chief. That's why we need shell issue. That's why we need shell issue. And I really hope the Supreme Court takes up this issue. That would be good. Well, with your help, we'll keep up the fight. So good shooting, and thank you both for your work. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.